Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Spice Official World. Yes, you heard right. It's my world, baby girl. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. Yes, sir. Cool me, cool me down. Fooling with peace of eyes. Hey guys, welcome back to another one of Spice Official World. And this time, we are going to be doing day 30th on quarantine. I've been here for a full month in Atlanta. As you know, the Jamaican borders are closed. The airports are closed. Yes, so I can't go back to Jamaica. So I'm stuck in Atlanta in quarantine with my kids. But we need food. Yeah, I ran out of food. Not a lot. I still have a few stuff here. But I'm going to run to Walmart. So you know what I have to do? I gotta get my my mask. I was gonna say get my gloves. I gotta grab my mask. This is how I wear them. I wear them together. So as you know, guys, the correct mask is the N95, but those are scarce. I don't have an N95. So as Jamia Canada say, take it and make fashion. I'ma make my own protection. This is a little fashionable, but it's padded six times, so it's thick enough to block out any sneezing or any little thing that may go into my nostrils. And that's what I want. So prevention is better than cure. It's not an N95, but it's still safe. But I still put on a surgical um, mask first. So I am very, very careful and cautious of what's happening outside there with the coronavirus. And you guys need to be too. Now, everybody, do you know how they say the gloves um, cont contaminates everything and you mustn't wear the gloves because it makes no sense. Here's why I wear the glove. You know how the mind works. This is not a normal thing for me and for you guys. So I'll forget to probably sanitize my hand after I open a lock or a doorknob or touch something. So I put this on and after I touch everything, I take it off and I throw it away. So that's just helping me, you know, because I may not remember, oh, I'm going to sanitize my hand because I just pulled the door. That's the only reason why I wear these and then I toss them out. So let's go outside and see what's happening. I'm going to grab my baby some food because you know me a big cook. And next time you see me, I'll be cooking it up for you, baby. Oh, yeah. So let's go outside. I'm going to Walmart. So I think, I don't want to lie to you, but I think this is actually my third time going outside in four weeks, okay? The first time I went outside was when I was getting prepared for this pandemic so I stocked up a lot of food and water Lysol and a lot of stuff my second time going outside I went to the Jamaican market yeah forget me yeah mama banana I'm gonna look at something I'm gonna look at team I'll show you those on the next video but that was my third time going outside second time I'm mixing up myself and now this is my third so my third time is getting some more food and I'm running to Walmart. And like I said, I put my gloves on because I'm always touching the doors and stuff. And then I throw them out. So I have another pair of gloves um, with me. So little things like these, you see how I would open the door? And after I open the door, I just automatically might not remember to sanitize my hands. So that's why I put the gloves on. And then, after I touch everything, I just throw the gloves off. I keep changing gloves. It's I waste. I think I park on the other side. <laughs> Ooh, child. Maybe we're just excited to come outside. You know, you're up here, feel like a little kid. Because it's not normal for me to be outside, honey. So maybe I'm tall. I'm just excited. Let me wipe you. Let me wipe you. Let me wipe you. I'm not crazy, am I? I can't see my car. What the fuck? This, oh, <laughs> there we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, because I haven't been outside for two weeks, I never remember where I parked. You gotta be safe on the road, guys. 
so left right Jamaica left America right every time before I start driving I have to say that Jamaica left America right because I drive in Jamaica and we drive on the left side of the road but here in America they drive on the right side of the, of the road so I have to keep reminding myself that I'm in America and I need to be on the right side so I don't crash see same thing <laughs> buckle up guys oh child just to see the sunshine is not normal for me anymore because I'm so Ooh, look at that oh, a ray of sunshine feels good what are you doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> normally I would um write on a little list of what I'm gonna get today so I just you know stick to the list so I don't stay in there and linger and touch what I'm not supposed to touch and see who I don't need to see I just get to the point get in and get out but I forgot my list so I need to go into my head and figure out what I'm going to get my kids are with me so you know I got to get breakfast stuff stuff for them to snack on um I normally get cereal but the cup the um the pantry is full of cereal because Nicholas decided to pick up 12 cereal the last time and some he didn't like some he still haven't eaten continue on I-85 so access road for one true. mile I'm by the right things there. Because if I follow them kids, yeah? We're broke in America. Mm-hmm. We're broke. Anyway, guys, I really don't know where I'm going, so I have to keep watching the, <laughs> the GPS before I get lost. So, I think I'm going to bear right on the I-85 I um, south. Yes. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'm used to being in the passenger seat, but... In a quarter mile, use the right two lanes to take the I-85 South, Georgia 403 South ramp to Atlanta. Yeah, my problem with the GPS now. It's a tell me it's a mega go south. Right? I'm going to go up on the I-85 ramp and it a tell me all kind of stuff. I don't know what that one is, so I have to look and read. <laughs> It's a talk to me like I know the I 85 ramp and all of them something. I don't know a GPS. Use the right two lanes to take the I 85 south ramp. Look in front of me because if you see right now, four miles. Jamaica, we have two lanes the most, or so. The highway I have six lanes. So we have to be careful. But the good thing about my vehicle is if I touch the white line, it brings me back over to where I should be. Which sometimes it used to be scary for me. Because I said, oh, the carry out drive like it won't drive for me. Like, I, I don't, I can't show you, but if I'm going over too much, it automatically does shift itself and carry back over. Mm. Yeah, you see what I tell you? Oh? Because the car, you see how the, I was telling you, you see the car behind me when I was coming over, it was too close to me. Mm -hmm. So when I was going over, it was bringing me back. Mm. You didn't see? Mm -hmm. It was scary at first, but yeah, that carry out me. I feel careful with it. If me in my mind shop, it make me crash. <laughs> so at one point, I was gonna take that sensitive thing off of this Range Rover, but um, I think it's good because true me not really know if you drive America. My love, if me I turn around, make me look a wrong turn, it tell me say, hey, hey, I don't say go and bring me back over on the road. <laughs> so I think I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, me can't just uh, overtake so mm -mm, it have carry me back on the road. So that's kind of good and it's bad, but I get used to it. We are six minutes away. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. As I was saying, so I'm going to start everything for myself. I miss Nancy. Nancy, I miss you. Everybody's on quarantine and I encourage them, you know, stay home and whatever, whatever. So I don't try to be selfish. I make them come out just because they need to help me. I have to do it myself. So I'm going to warm up by myself for the first time. And I'm a little excited and nervous at the same time because in Jamaica things are a bit different. Um my normal way around the supermarket, like we can just go in out with my eye closed and come back out. Well my man feel I guess I see? Oh? You see? Uh -huh. That's what I tell you felt that yeah. you said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You see? <laughs> Lift 
me off my feet. But to be quite honest, before a man comes to me, turn left, then turn left. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Let's go. Turn left. Uh -huh. Rolling, rolling my body, it's rolling. Oh. I'll go up somewhere. Uh -huh. in my life and i've been driving since i was very young okay we're in park and i'm here let's go mask on all right i'm gonna put my mask on So I like the fact that he was, you know, sanitizing down the hand carts and stuff. When you come to Walmart, you see most of the things them empty, like there's nothing, you know? But I went to my Jamaican store and I have all my little stuff already. I'm gonna get maybe some onions because you always have to have onions. So I try, I try to buy a lot of onions. And garlic is my best friend. Like garlic, I buy a whole of garlic. So I'm gonna get me some grapes because I love my fruits and I'm gonna get me some garlic and in my normal life, I would taste the grape, but not this time. It has to be washed and, um, you know, be clean. I'm gonna get some lemon. Lemon is good. I'm gonna show you how to boil the lemon. And I'm gonna get me some seafood because you know I don't eat meat. All the sugar will come on. My salmon. I can get some frog. What am I here for? You stay far from the people, then. You stay far. Since I have the kids, I buy a lot of kids stuff so that they can just warm up stuff and about about them if you cook, 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 cook every minute. The kind now work. Orange juice they love, so we get a lot of these. So what I do when I come out, I try to buy a lot of stuff so that I don't have to come back out because like I said, this is my third time coming outside. Um, so I stock up on a lot of juice because for some reason it keeps them can drink, you see? Then drink right through. Um, okay. I need to get some cases of water. I think I'm not getting that cereal. Let me try to stop eating rice because I'm going to get a diet. Huh? Yeah. Everything is so different to me. Like, I don't know these, these brand of rice. You know, I'm not really... Oh, these are brown rice, long grain. Oh, you don't want that? 
on with it. Eggs and bread and breakfast though. I got juice. You know the drill. This place is so empty. Oh yes. You know what this? <laughs> Hold on, you know what this? I'm stuck off this account. Bad girls step out, I'm stunting queen. My ties them tick like dumpling. Huh? Look for me, big body jumping. My money tick like a car meal. Dumpling, yeah, my fried flour. Yeah. What if a dumpling cook at my yard? Fried dumpling, boiled dumpling, all of them something there. Put that up my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know I really don't want nothing, right? We did this all. No. I don't want cereal. I'm going to catch you. Another one. I need napkins. I'm crazy. Napkins, no napkins. Life's all is good. Empty. I think they say vinegar can clean germs, but I'm not sure, can it? What's that? Vinegar. Vinegar? Does vinegar clean germs? Oh. No, Jamaica, I'm come from. Vinegar we used to use and clean it too. Since it's missing? <laughs> no? Yeah. It's not open. Cause I I like Gatorade, but I only buy this color, blue. <laughs> and it's the only one, so I'm gonna get it. So get this one. Aquafina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get it. What do they eat with a dip? The who? The you know the chips with the dip? Dip. Oh. <laughs> the kids. The kids eat a chips hole oh, with a dip. I'm seeing. Yeah, I was like, what? That's it. I just want to give you some more. I have everything. Oh, I need bread. Where's the bread? Expiration. I have to check the expiration date.
back in the car. You know the drill. I got my wipes and my sanitizer. So I wipe my hands first, then I throw this out, and then I sanitize. You know the drill. Uh-huh. So I'm done with my shopping. I have food for two weeks. And stay tuned, guys. I get my sanitizer. Bye.